Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 613. How BioBalance Health Reverses Aging. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. Today we're going to talk about um, the second part of what BioBalance does to change people's lives and bring them back to a healthier, younger self. So we've already talked about the fact that aging begins with a drop drop of testosterone blood level. And the testosterone comes from our ovaries or testicles. In both sexes, a drop of testosterone then begins this aging cascade, which ends in disease and and no quality of life and pain and misery. And we can reverse that and prevent the diseases of aging that are the outcome of a lack of testosterone and then all the other things that that triggers. So what are the diseases of aging? I mean, if you think about it, you have to consider what causes patients, what causes people to be sick after the age of 40 for women and 50 for men. Well, the diseases include, and I'll give you, and I'm, I'm going to give you this list here, but I'll read them as well since we have people that just listen. Um, adult onset diabetes is usually um, a disease of later life. And when you lose, when women lose estrogen and men lose testosterone, they become insulin resistant, which then sets them up for diabetes. So they are in a stage called prediabetes. At that stage, we can change things so that patients don't eventually get diabetes. That has to do with us giving you the uh, proper hormone replacement and as well as Uh, you following our suggestions for lifestyle changes. So it's not something that I can go, it's it's there and you're done. It kind of seems like that because when we give you the pellets, we put them in your hip and let them dissolve slowly over four to six months. But you also have to do your part. You have to eat properly and we'll give you the directions for that. You have to exercise almost daily, generally daily, and you have to take supplements. You have to, we'll adjust the medications so that it doesn't counteract what we're trying to do. So to, to avoid diabetes, it's not easy. Nothing in this life is. And there's not one thing that they say on television, oh, do this. And, you know, one thing and it's, and it's all over. It's, you're just going to be great. Take the supplement. Do the, use this laser, whatever. It doesn't work like that. You always have to do your part. It is both the physician, the machine, or the medication, and you. And you is probably the biggest part of it, but you're the beneficiary of it. Other diseases that come with age, which I'm sure you know, but they're vascular disease, um, high cholesterol, high triglycerides occur with age. Heart disease is is something that occurs at, at a higher frequency as we get older. Autoimmune diseases after the age of 40, usually that is something that we don't think about comes with age. There are still childhood autoimmune diseases, but it's a different type of autoimmune disease, and it is triggered by a lack of testosterone, and testosterone does help autoimmune diseases decrease their severity and sometimes go into remission. Obesity is usually not a disease of young people, but it's becoming more and more like that because we're eating more fast food, carby food, food that we don't cook ourselves, food that you can just undo a wrapper and eat, all of those things um, increase the uh, increase your chances of getting uh, obese. And becoming obese is really hard to reverse, especially after 40, without giving you back the hormones that started the ball rolling. Insulin resistance is a pre-diabetic state. Insulin carries sugar into your uh, cells, 
and makes it possible for each cell to make energy. If you have insulin resistance, the insulin can't get into the cell and can't carry sugar into the cell and therefore just kind of bounces off and becomes fat. So you could literally eat very little and the insulin resistance will cause you to make fat out of whatever sugar is in your blood. So that is actually made better by giving women back their estrogen and testosterone and men their test testosterone. And we use a few other drugs like metformin. Chronic fatigue is usually a poor immune status and your immunity drops after testosterone becomes low. Immunity goes down as we age and that is triggered by low testosterone. So when we give testosterone back, the immune system then kicks back into gear in the, at the same rate as it was in your late 30s. So that will help treat chronic fatigue. Hypothyroidism is common as people age. In fact, it's very common in people over 80. Your thyroid just stops working and you have to have it replaced. Um, hypothyroidism can happen in younger people for, because of a lack of iodine or because um, in women, the breasts steal the iodine from the thyroid and then basically your thyroid's undernourished. Thyroid is made out of iodine. You need iodine to make that hormone. And if you don't have it, then you are going to shut down your metabolism, gain weight, swell, uh, lose your hair, um, on your head and all over your body. You're gonna have very dry skin. You're gonna be very tired. Uh, there are many other symptoms of hypothyroidism, but it is a disease of aging. High cholesterol also, or excuse me, high cortisol also goes along with aging. As we get older, at first our cortisol goes up and cortisol counteracts our free testosterone level. It binds it up and it also makes us swell uh, make, makes our bones thin, gives us a hump on our back, uh, makes our hair fall out. All of those things go along with aging. At the very end, after 80, the adrenal gland seems to decrease its production of everything, including cortisol. If you have these diseases or have a family history of these diseases, then biobalance bio is, is your um, safety net, and you can change your future. You don't have to be just like your parents or grandparents and, and have all of these things make you miserable the rest of your life. You can avoid it. It can be prevented. So that's something that we do every day. We know how to do it and we are very good at making people healthier. You still have to do your part. It's not magic. So another part of aging is how you appear to yourself. When you look in the mirror, do you basically look at yourself and go, man, who is that? Look how old I am. And that has to do with what we associate with aging. Basically, it is also connected to our hormones. Low testosterone, low estrogen decreases your connective tissue and the, and the uh, ability of your connective tissue to hold everything up, hold your breasts up, hold your face up, um, keep the skin on your body from sagging. Testosterone is a key to treating sagging skin, which goes along with what we associate with aging. Uh, so the specific problems that you will see in your face or somebody else's that indicates that they're aging are sagging facial jowls down here, um, large, and, uh, large circles that go down like this. It's really a loss of the fat in your cheeks, but big, deep circles make people look older. Sagging lids, where your lids go down like this, and you can barely see out of them, and this skin right here goes down over those lids, that's a sign of aging as well. If you have poor facial tone, your skin, you can pinch your skin and pull it out, and large pores, uh, a rough uh, exterior, that's all related to aging. Sagging body skin, where, you know, somebody has their their arms, they've got these big wings, that's a sign of aging. Um, deep parentheses here, right there, like if you've got big, big um, wrinkles there or indentations, that's a sign of aging. Smoker's lines above your, above your lip, even if you've never smoked. Um, also, <laughs> we, urine loss, which is, it should, probably should have been stated at the, um, in the symptoms of aging, but 
it is something that we can fix with one of our machines called an m -cella. We can actually reverse uh, urinary incontinence. And it is not painful, and nothing goes in your vagina, so it's quite different than all the other, uh, all the other machines that treat that, and it is effective. Aging also has to do with losing all the eyebrow hair, or your eyebrows are so light in color, your hair's gray, that your face is monotone. That is a sign of aging. Um, facial hair above your uh, women's uh, lip, and acne, you can get acne as you get older. Um, brown spots, they're called age spots. Those are from sun damage and also a reaction of your skin that causes it to be like a pre-cancerous lesion, but they look brown. And um, those, we can actually fix that with lasers. Deep facial wrinkles where you see big crevices across somebody's face, and there's many more things that have to do with what you look like. Thin hair, um, for men, no hair. So those are, those are the signs that are of the exterior aging process. And um, if we, when we have taken care of the internal metabolism and the internal um, health of a patient, given them their hormones back, helped them lose weight, got, them, uh, got some of the diseases they were starting to have, like diabetes or hypothyroidism, and treated them so they no longer had a risk for those diseases actually um, happening to them, we then have patients say, well, now that I feel good, I'm looking in the mirror and I still look old. Well, they actually do look better even with just testosterone and, and those other changes, but they want to look younger. They want to look as young as they feel. So we have, um, we have developed Biobalance Skin, which is a full service medical spa, and it is medical is the operative word. We use medical treatments to actually help patients um, look better. So because we have a medical director, because um, I'm integral, integrally involved in the um, programs that we offer, uh, we can offer things that other places can't offer. We, have, um, we use lasers, we use peels, we have um, the EM machine for the electromagnetic machine for sculpting the body, uh, for uh, elevating the uh, pelvis so that people don't have um, stress urinary, urinary incontinence. That's not something you really see, although it does make people feel very con uh, conscious of themselves when they have the um, problem of losing urine at any point in time. So we help our patients look better with biobalanced skin. We also carry a full line of um, medical pharmaceutical, or excuse me, uh, skin suticals, and we can then give them something to continue the process that we started in the in the uh, spa. Our patients can get new eyebrows ta uh, tattooed on, or or um, actually, it look it's like a tattoo, but it's a little less aggressive. Um, you can have your lips. You can have permanent lipstick. You can have permanent eyeliner. We also have we also have fillers for those law those really deep um, eye circles. We fill the cheeks. That's how you treat that. You don't fill the eye circles. You fill the cheeks that made that happen. The cheeks went away with aging, and you, we fill them back up with collagen-like substances that are man-made but work beautifully. We can fill. We can even fill in crevices on your arms. <laughs> We can we can fill in your knees, and we can actually smooth out your skin, which is also something that not many other places can do. So we have many different methods of making you look as young as you feel after you have gotten your hormones back. Lastly, we have a weight loss program, and the weight loss program is is essentially independent of our pellet program. The, the hormone pellets generally are needed for weight loss if you're trying to lose weight after 40, but, uh, and that would be the first step. But for medical weight loss, we uh, use medications that are new. There's so many new medications that actually work so well with very few side effects or no side effects at all. So we are using the best science, the best um, new pharmaceuticals that we can use in addition to diet, exercise, supplements, and hormonal replacement, including 
testosterone, estrogen, and thyroid, all of those have to be normal before any of these other things will work. And the lifestyle is all up to you. So if you're, gonna, if you're going to want all these other things, but you're not going to diet or exercise, your weight loss is going to be very slow or non-existent because you have to do your part too. You can actually negate what we're trying to do with, uh, with our medications. There's a medication called Ozempic. It's awesome. It's one shot, a tiny little needle in, that you can give yourself in the subcutaneous tissue of your abdomen and it goes to the rest of your body and it makes you not hungry. It also makes you feel full. It also stops the insulin resistance so you don't get hypoglycemic and tired. It is, it's an amazing medication. It works for diabetics. It also helps diabetics. But for those of us who aren't diabetic, it also helps us lose weight. We've had an excellent result from that. And Ribelis, which is from the same company, but it's an oral tablet that you take that does the same thing. It's just a daily, it's a daily dosage. Those two new drugs have kind of changed everything. We still use, for our patients without high blood pressure or without any heart problems, we still use diet pills or stimulants. That decreases your, your um, hunger, but it also speeds up your metabolism so you burn more calories. In, in the end, it helps insulin resistance. But people who have prediabetes or insulin resistance, we start with metformin because metformin is an amazing drug that does help fix the prediabetes and helps you lose weight. The, it isn't as fast as Ozempic, but it is very inexpensive, which makes it very attractive to most of our patients. So we usually start that first before we go to anything extremely um, expensive for, or expensive at all. Uh, Losing weight is not just about looking beautiful or uh, being twiggy, and I don't think it should be about being twiggy. It should be something where you get your body back, a healthy body with good muscle tone, good skin, um, and uh, a health that shows from the inside out. So that kind of weight should be your goal, not as skinny as you can be. Because frankly, if you're over 40 and you get to the weight you were when you were 20, you'll look really old because you're, you'll be really hollow in here. Your skin will start sagging. Despite taking testosterone, you can, you can out diet your testosterone and estrogen therapy. Anything can be um, adjusted or actually ruined by doing something excessive in one of these areas such as lifestyle or diet or exercise. So moderation in everything, moderate exercise, moderate eating properly. We don't want you starving. We don't want you not eating at all because that is not good for you. Uh, and we do want you taking testosterone to support your muscles and bones and brain so that you don't have any damage to them as you're losing fat. We follow all this weight loss with a, a machine called an in-body because just getting on a scale tells you nothing. You could easily decrease your numbers on the scale by just being dehydrated. You could decrease your, your numbers on the scale by, or increase them by having salty foods. You could gain four pounds in a couple of days or a day. That's not fat, that's water. And you can lose four pounds in a couple of days and that's water too. So it doesn't tell you anything just to weigh yourself. In fact, I don't like using just a number for your weight. We use a body composition machine which tells us how much muscle you have, how much fat you have, how, um, how much you weigh versus other people who are your height. It doesn't even look at age, so we're comparing you to other people who are young and healthy. So we are basically looking at what is your composition? Do you have enough water? Do you have enough muscle? Do you have enough fat? We have a lot of people who think that they have been on a great diet because they feel thin, but when you look at their body composition, they have tons of fat and no muscle. Well, that's not healthy. That's not good for you. So we aren't looking to give you that kind of weight loss. We're trying to maintain muscle and lose only fat. And this in-body machine tells us if you are doing that. It also tells us whether you're following our directions with diet because when we have managed all the other variables, and the only variable is diet and exercise, we know whether you're following our directions or not. 
So it's kind of like being a drone and following you around. We can see the outcome. We can also see the outcome with your blood work. And we do check blood work to make sure that we are going in the right direction with your lipids and your blood sugar and the other factors that show us that you are losing fat and, be, and achieving your ideal weight. So we don't just do, oh, weight loss here, take this, take this food package and buy this food and then go home, eat this food, and you're going to lose weight. That honestly doesn't stay. It comes right back, and most of it is water loss. So there's a lot, there's a lot of lying out there in the advertising uh, community for every kind of supplement or, or, or diet. What we do is real medically directed weight loss. It works as long as you buy into it, we buy into it, and, and we put that together, you will lose weight. So in all of these things, we are trying to make people healthier. And that's how we decide whether we're going to add something to our programs or not, whether we're going to invest in a new uh, method of keeping people healthy. That is all we care about. We care about making sure that you are going to be healthy when we're all done and you're going to remain healthy. So this is what we do. This is what we can do. If you have someone who needs to lose weight, needs to have their hormones back because they're miserable or they have many symptoms or they're getting other diseases, please send them to our website at biobalancehealth.com and they can then go to new patient, fill out the forms, and then we will call you and send you a lab sheet. You can get your blood drawn, and then we will put you on our schedule if and only if we know we can help you. If we look at your lab and we look at your history and there's nothing we can change that you look great, then I can't, I can't do you any good. So I'm not going to make an appointment for you to treat anything because you don't have anything to treat. So that's how we look at it. We want you to spend your money and time in the right place. And we don't want to take money from someone who I can't make better. So we are trying to be conscientious and ethical about our treatment. So please come to us if you need this kind of help in the middle of your life to live the rest of your life profitably and successfully. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.